Meghalaya's Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma underscored the importance of data-driven governance at a conference for Deputy Commissioners and Subdivisional Officers in Shillong today. He urged upon the officers to collaborate for effective program implementation and emphasized prioritizing citizen welfare in decision-making. Conrad Sangma also outlined the state's vision for a $10 billion economy and highlighted progress in various sectors over the past six years. He encouraged officers to conduct regular field visits and use technology for reporting. The conference also featured insights from Commissioner and Secretary Dr. Vijay Kumar on technology-driven governance interventions. Service books. service books also can be registered, can be generated digitally if we have all the information. Currently, it's a very complex process. Many people don't get pensions, etc. because this is not there. So that is another thing that we are working on. We are very, very uh, firm in our belief that uh, until and unless we are able to uh, really activate and coordinate with the districts, then all the programs and policies and whatever we try to do from the headquarters will not have the desired impact that we would want. And that's why we've made a concerted effort in the past uh, five to six years to regularly engage with the districts, especially the deputy commissioners, improve the system, get feedback. And it is based on the feedbacks and discussions only that you've seen small, small policy changes that took place, which actually impacted the public at large. Like the simple thing that uh, our Chief Secretary was mentioning about, about giving uh, relief at the grassroots level. So it really has an impact. So therefore, a lot of people may not feel how critical or may not realize how critical this, info, this particular meeting is. But I can tell you the kind of decisions that are made at the top level based on your feedback uh, is very important for the public at large. So it's not about the $10 billion economy alone. A lot of people think that we are driven by is GDP uh, growth rate and all these things. Yes, it is a number that allows us to move forward. But actually, if you look at this entire you know, government's agenda, the basic idea of uh, the $10 billion economy is linked to 10 opportunities and 10 you know, commitments that we're giving to the people. So, it's, so while we achieve this $10 billion, we're also looking at the 10 promises that we're making to the people. Once we achieve the 10 billion, while we're moving forward, when we get the 8,000 crores worth of investment because of the investment policy we've come up with, we expect that 50,000 jobs will be created out of it. So therefore, it is all, all of these aspects are of course centered around the 10 billion, but there are 10 opportunities and there are 10 different commitments. For example, you know, we want to ensure that the power connectivity, the road connectivity, the water connectivity, the IT connectivity, all of these connectivities are there to every grassroots village or household in the state. So like that, we have tied the vision of this 10 billion and connected it to different social and infrastructural goals that we have.